She prepared a pot-filled playlist so they could walk hand in glove, avoiding life's congestion through the back streets of nostalgia. Four years and a hundred miles, dual decades as distant strangers, but still they managed to reminisce on childhood shared and sacred pleasures. She remembers dancing to Don't Stop by S Club 7 in the playing fields at St Peter's with Zoe's bouncing ginger perm. He remembers rapping to Re Rewind by Atful Dodger on the old abandoned railway track the final day of term. It took two hours and 20 minutes, but it was perfect. When she finished with a twilight of the afternoon to spare, she contemplated filling in the label with a gel pen. It's his 29th birthday, which is dreaded now for weeks, but a better form of antidote than travelling back through time. She skipped a tea, too nervous to eat. He said he'd be here at seven. She knew it'd be closer to half past, but at 6.15 she settled. His decision now defining her defiance or delusion. She passed the time with cigarettes and neatly stacked the crap cassettes and watched the clock and made a drink and tried to sip it on the brink. Checked a text, checked again, downed a drink, checked again, tried to ring, but it rang right through. Tried again, but it didn't ring once. Welcome to the O2 messaging service for 07525 364. 927. She lingers by the mirror, leaves the voicemail sat recording. Mascara halted in its tracks at 25 past nine. Protected cheeks bereft of freckles, hair no longer drawn by Disney, but even with that wide-eyed wonder, where on God's earth is he? 20 years of wisdom that should be there to guide her, merely arrive in hindsight whilst wounds are getting wider. The bedroom waits with bated breath. Her feet get cold, so she rummages for socks. A car pulls up through naivety, comes nervous nausea, but it's only bad from 13 being a taxi back from bingo, alone, well-versed, well-masked, well past the sell-by date and well past caring. And as she plays the final song, for the fifth time in a row, she aches to tiptoe down the hall and crawl between her parents, longs for worries such as, Mrs Roberts set her homework and I haven't done it yet, and last time she made me stand up in the middle of assembly. How come my dad always picks me up from parties before we've had jelly and ice cream? And how come my school uniform is plain and maroon, whilst the other kids are posted red with the school's name embroidered? Sink beneath the duvet, make a castle from the pillows, as the Spice Girls sing a serenade that resonates quite brutally. A tentative request that echoes through a lifetime, faithfully borrowed from Now 36, side one, track one. Say you'll be there. Say you'll be there. Say you'll be there.